None of us will forget the 11th of September 2001, and none of us will remember it more vividly or with more emotion than the families of those who died that day in New York, Washington, D.C., and near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, on Flight 93. So many lives lost with such brutal finality, innocent lives, those taken with no more logic than being in that place at that time, struck down by those who, through perverted logic, thought this destruction justified by a cause which seems as flawed and irrational now as it did on that September day. We recall the shock we felt, the fear, the sense that our stability and security were shaken, not just by the act itself, but by incomprehension and revulsion at its motivation. The ideology of those responsible was filled with hatred, an ideology at violent odds with a world seeking to flourish across boundaries of faith and culture. Your organization since 9-11 the remarkable charity founded by many of those present today, decided that the best way of commemorating those who died would be to do the very opposite of what might be expected, to answer an act of hate with an act of love, to focus not on retribution, but on reconciliation. So began this magnificent program started in Britain's secondary schools from 2018 in our primary schools teaching our young people the value of the open mind, embrace of difference, mutual respect and tolerance. We're not naive. We know that we need measures of protection and security. But it is not naive to believe that in education and knowledge is found the most effective remedy to this ideology because it puts in place of a bad idea a good one in place of division, coexistence. I cannot be with you in person because I am in New York attending the annual event of another 9-11 organization with which my institute works, whose purpose also is through charity to help those who need our help, whatever their religious faith. Like you, they wanted to place opposite the destructive, the constructive to show that though an act of terrorism can kill the body, the human spirit remains indestructible and will prevail. What you represent could today not be more timely. It's hard on this 20th anniversary occasion and in the light of renewed turmoil in Afghanistan, not to retreat into anxiety for our world. Your organization since 9-11 brings us back to hope. You, by your response to grief, have lit the way to the future. You've insisted on bringing sense out of senselessness, lifting us up and renewing our optimism. This indeed is the best memorial to those you loved and lost that day. Though no longer with us, they inspire you and us. We owe them and you a profound debt. Because if you, with every reason to turn away in anger, have decided your duty is instead to do good, then our duty surely is to support you in any way we can. And that is what we commit to doing today.